So Lemmings came about because of an argument. Um, I was uh, working at DMA Design and we were having a discussion about uh, a game called Walker that we were about to do. And the Walker was based on the um, Star Wars ATAP, two-legged ATAP thing. Um, and we had that graphic in a, an earlier game and it was quite big, but the, the characters that were going to be fighting, they were too large. So they came up past the knees and I thought that was way too big for the game because in Star Wars, they came up to the feet rather than the knees. So we had this argument about making them smaller. I thought we could get them half the size. So I went and did this animation of these little characters and they all just kind of lined up to this big gun that shot them. Um, and then I showed the team and they were all just laughing at it because it was funny. And Russell K then went, ah, oh, there's a game in that somewhere. And that kind of kind of triggered the game off. Um, and from there, it just kind of ballooned to making the Lemmings game. Dave Jones, Gary Timmons came up with all the skills and then we all kind of made levels and just tried to beat each other. And it was just such good fun trying to figure out these levels that it just took off from there. So after Lemmings, I did a whole load of other games with DMA. I did Lemmings 2 and then I did a bit of Lemmings 3. And then from that, I went into R&D. So I did lots of just trying ideas out and tech out. Um, I did, while I was doing that, I, I came up with a prototype that turned into Grand Theft Auto, this kind of top-down perspective engine that we then used in Grand Theft Auto, that kind of spawned that. Um, and then I basically did all the background tech for, for a lot of the games. The 3D hardware had just started to come out. So I did all that kind of stuff and supported game makers at DMA doing all the tech. Um, after that, I, I went to Visual Sciences, we did more console work and then did mobile stuff and then to other companies. And it's just kind of kept going like that from company to company. Too many games folk want to get into the industry, but they just play games all the time. Really, the, the thing is go and make stuff. Whatever it is, however good, however bad, just make things. Uh, you've got great things like Scratch, uh, Game Maker, uh, Unity, Unreal Engines, all these kind of things that help you make stuff. Just make things, you know, modify games that are there, make your own, just create. That's the only way to get into the industry. The cave is amazing. It's just, it, it, <laughs> it's almost like looking at my loft, I have to say, a bit neater. Um, it's just such, it's such good fun looking at all the stuff that I've kind of been part of for a lot of it and remembering all these old machines. It's just, being able to do it hands-on is just phenomenal.